Maker Scott says on Twitter, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Do you guys think we'll see Robin in the future DC movies? Any casting thoughts? Love the show. Thanks for the fun. I think we will. Yeah. I think we'll see a new Robin. Especially at some if we're point. getting this fun DC universe that yeah, full of hope and joy. Johnson is and Robin represents hope and joy. He certainly does. And punching. And sticks. Hitting sticks. a man in the head with a stick. Yeah, maybe like a like a slingshot sometimes. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's good. I think almost certainly. Or that we know there's a dead Robin. Maybe yeah. we'll see the return of him. Yeah. Oh, but at the very least, I think we're going to get a Dick Grayson. As a, no, I think Dick Grayson will be former Robin. We might get a Nightwing. I hope we get a Nightwing yeah, more than anything. Too. I think we'll probably get a... Um, who's after Jason Todd? What's his name? Tim Dam- Drake. Yeah, Tim or Drake. Or Damian yeah. Wayne. Yeah. I reckon they might skip Tim Drake. Yeah. Or I do think, a hybrid or something. Yeah, because I because they've sort of... They've taken Tim Drake out of continuity as Robin in the comic books. Oh, uh, because he's in the Red Robin he was or Red, something? Yeah, he, if, in, the, in the original version, he was Robin and then he became Red Robin. And yeah. now they've been like, well, he was never regular Robin. He was just... He was never original recipe Robin. Oh, he was just no. Red Robin. So I think they're probably going to skip him and go straight to Damian Wayne. Because right. then there's that f- actual familiar... Cl- you know, kind of connection. It's interesting because uh, Ben Affleck said that uh, he had somebody in, in mind for uh, Sienna Miller to play in the DC universe, uh-huh. and maybe she'll be Talia Al Ghul. Oh, maybe because he didn't, he didn't mention her, and that just sprung in my mind now, Mason. There so maybe go. that would that would be setting up. Are they the mates future. or something? I think they maybe did live by night together. Okay. Or maybe they didn't. Nobody saw it. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, there's no there's no evidence that's even a real movie. <laughs> Look, I, all I, I could picture Ben Affleck in a big, dumb Dick Tracy outfit. Yeah, sure. He's real broad, yep. broader than a man could possibly be. Uh-huh. But that's all I got. Yeah. And apparently all, all people are doing in the press junkets are just asking him about when he's going to make Batman. Oh, my God. It's such a pain in the ass. It's like every time I mention Batman, when I was doing this movie, it took me two years to get it together. But nobody ever asked me, where's Live By Night? We're going to take the time to make it right. We're going to do it good. We're going to do it the right way. And the fans are going to love it. Right. And he finally came out on Fallon or Kimmel or whatever. It's just like, I'm doing it. Yeah. Just leave me alone. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I'm sorry I, I decided to make this passion project. I'll make you a dumb Batman what movie. What if it was revealed? to him now like he gets called into a meeting and they're like listen DC funded this movie in its entirety solely as a like a marketing ploy to get people to ask you about the new Batman movie we do not care about this movie we're never actually going to release it it's just a trick that would be amazing you know I was speaking to uh, uh, Hollywood Pete the other day oh yeah he said what do you think of the Ben Affleck directed movies Uh and I thought about it and I went they're pretty good but I, I, not one of them's like, oh, that blew my mind. That was amazing. Mm-hmm. They're all just, you know, pretty solid. Have you seen any of them? Argo. Yeah. I liked Argo. It was a lot of fun. I didn't. I think I fell asleep. Argo, okay. It wasn't because it was bad. It's probably because I just needed a nap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Any others? And what was the uh, what was the one where he's, he puts all of Boston in his rear view? What was that movie? <laughs> Is that He directed that? You're thinking of Goodwill Hunting. No. <laughs> the other the one. The Town. The Town. Oh, The Town was actually, I enjoyed The Town. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In your face, Hollywood Pete. That's right. No, he's all right. Yeah, he's good. Anyway, we'll see a, we'll see a Robin yep. at some point. Casting thoughts, anyone? Oh, well, I know there was rumoured that Adam Driver for Nightwing, which I quite like. Yeah, okay. Uh, what about, and I think I've said this before, what about the other guy from Supernatural? Uh, the long-haired guy? Long-haired guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jared Jared Padalecki? Padalecki? Yeah, He'd definitely. Nightwing. And people say uh, the other guy for Green Lantern, which I think he'd oh, be, right, be okay. good help Jordan. I think he'd be a good guy Gardner. Yeah, he would. Maybe dual roles. I think he'd Double be a, impact I think style. he'd be a good real-life gardener. Yeah, right. Just getting in there. Yeah, getting yeah. your hands dirty, you know what I mean? Working with the earth. It's a real, real guy, job. yeah. None of this Hollywood nonsense. That's right. Do, do a real job, idiot. Mm-hmm. Good on him. Put your back into it. Yeah. Anyone else? People say like Zac Efron. I don't know if he's... Well, when he when he finally does that star-making turn in Baywatch <laughs> and everybody stands up and takes notice, then maybe... I don't, I don't know if... He's more ripped than any man more, should be. He is, but Nightwing's kind of taller in my mind. Not that it really matters, yeah, I guess. Yeah. You know, but uh, anybody. <laughs> Literally pick, anybody pick would do. Pick anybody. Pick anyone kind of youngish and charming. But you need kind of... I feel like for Nightwing, you need like a lithe actor. Uh-huh. Who's lithe? Ryan Gosling. He is, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He wouldn't do it. He might do it. What if? What if? He I got- feel, but I feel Ryan Gosling is going through all the genres. Right. Like he's done a, he's done romantic comedies. He's done musicals. He's done, you know, grim crime films. Yeah, yeah. I think he might just do a superhero film to be like, I can be the best guy at this. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. What What about the dude from uh, Heroes? Oh, um, the other boyfriend of the Gilmore Girl. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. Uh, what's his face? Miles Milo Teller. Ve- Milo Ventimiglia. <laughs> what about Miles Teller? No. No, not no. good. Yeah. What about James Franco? I've just, I've just got a page up here. What about Joseph Gordon-Levitt? You couldn't because he was already yeah. sort of Batman. Mm-hmm. 
Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, they've got Matt Bomer here as well. I think he might be a bit old. Who's that? Uh, he was nearly Superman. He was in Magic Mike. He's very handsome. Impossibly handsome. He hurts to look at. That would work for Dick Grayson. Yeah. Yeah. He's supposed to be the most impossibly handsome man in the DC universe. So sure. That would work. Good. Is that true? Is that what they say I think about so, it? Yeah. 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 All right. Fair enough. Any of those are fine. Great. Okay. Uh, next. That was qu- mostly Nightwing casting, but <laughs> he's Robin in there yeah, yeah, at right. some point. Uh huh. 